<clears throat> verse 39 of Shupam, the family of the Shupamites, of Hupam, the family of the Hupamites, hmm. and the sons of Bella were Ard and Naaman, of the Ard and the family of the Ardenites, the Ardites, of Naaman, the family of the Naamanites. These are the sons of Benjamin according to their families, and those who were numbered of them were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan according to the families of Shusham. Or Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan, according to their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those who were numbered of them, were sixty-four thousand four hundred. The sons of Asher, according to their families, were of Jimna, the family of the Jimnites of Jesui, the family of the Jesuites of Berea, uh, the family of the Berites of the sons of Berea, of Heber, the family of the Heberites. Of Machiel, the family of the Machielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those who are numbered of them, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali, according to their families, were of Jezeel, the family of the Jezeelites, of Guni, the family of the Gunites, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Shilam, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families, and those who were numbered of them were 45,400. These are those who were numbered of the children of Israel, 601,730. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, To these the land shall be divided as an inheritance, according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a larger inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a smaller inheritance. Each shall be given its inheritance according to those who were numbered of them. But the land shall be divided by lot. They shall inherit according to the names of the tribes of their fathers. According to the lot, their inheritance shall be divided between the larger and the smaller. And these are those who were numbered of the Levites, according to the families of Jershon, the family of the Jershonites of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Lebanites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Mahalites. The family of the Mushites and the family of the Korathites and the Kohath begot Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Joshebed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. And to Amram, she bore Aaron and Moses and their sister Miriam. To Aaron were born Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died when they offered profane fire before the Lord. Now those who were numbered of them were 23,000, every male from a month old and above, for they were not numbered among the other children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the children of Israel. These are those who were numbered by Moses and Eleazar, the priests who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab, by the, Cho by the Jordan across from Jericho. But among these were... But among these, there was not a man of those who were numbered by Moses and Aaron, the priests, when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said to them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. So there was not left a man of them except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Numbers named after the numbering of Israel continues the narrative of Exodus. The Israelites refused to enter the land God promised them, so they traveled in the wilderness for 40 years and finally arrived at Moab.